Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're going to create a shopping cart program using the C programming language. A user can type in the name of an item, a price, and a quantity. This will calculate a total for you. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started everybody. Usually when creating a project, a good first step is to declare all the variables you'll need. We'll need to hold the name of an item. This can be an array of characters, otherwise known as a string. We will create an array of characters named item. What should be the maximum number of characters for our item? Let's say 50, that's a good number. What I like to do is initialize all my variables right away, even if it's to zero or some sort of empty value. I'll set my item to be an empty string. This is just so we avoid undefined behavior in case we use one of these variables before they're assigned. We'll need a price. Our price can be a floating point number. Float price, and I will set this to be 0.0f. If it were a double, you can omit the F, but this tells you and other developers that this should be a floating point number. Then a quantity, how many items are we buying? Int quantity, I will set that to be zero. And a currency, our currency is a char, a character. Pick unit of currency, I'll pick American dollars. And then a total, that will be a floating point number, float total equals 0.0f. All right, we have our variables. Now we need some prompts. We're going to ask a user what kind of item they're buying. We'll need a printf statement. What item would you like to buy? Then another prompt for what is the price of each item. Between each print statement, we'll accept user input. I just want to get these prompts out of the way. What is the price for each item? Let's just say each, for each. Then we need a quantity. We'll ask the user how many they're buying. How many would you like? All right, we have our three prompts. Then we need to accept user input. So with our item, it's a string, we'll need to use fgets. Within the fgets function, we will place our item variable. We need the size of our array of characters, 50, but it would be better if we were to use the size of function to calculate it. Return the size of item, just in case this number changes, we don't have to manually change it. Then we have standard in, std in. Then we need the price. The price is a floating point number. How do we get a floating point number from the user? We can use scanf. We need a format specifier. For a float, that would be percent %f. Then use the address of operator, our price, our price variable. Then we need the quantity. How many are we buying? Quantity is an integer. We'll use scanf to get an integer. The format specifier is percent %d for decimal at the address of quantity, then we will assign it. Then we have a total. Our total is going to be total equals our price times our quantity. Price times quantity. Let's say I'm buying three pizzas and each pizza is $10. Well, 10 times 3, that should be 30. Let's do a test. I'm going to use printf. We'll display our total. Percent %f for floating point number. We will display our total variable. What item would you like to buy? I would like to buy a pizza. I'm going to say $10.01 for testing purposes. How many would you like? Three pizzas. All right, currently our total is 30.030001. Well, we can set the precision of a floating point number. With the format specifier, let's add 0.2 to display two digits after the decimal so that the output is clearly sense. Let's try that again. I will buy a pizza. The price is $10.01. And I will buy three pizzas. 30.03. Now let's add our currency. So with our output, we'll add a format specifier for character, %c. 
followed by the total. So we have our character of currency and our total. Do another test run. I would like to buy a pizza. Each pizza is $10 and one cent. And I would like to buy three. My total is $30 and three cents. And we do have that unit of currency beforehand. So when printing variables, you can list multiple format specifiers all in the same line if you need to, which is what we did here. We're displaying our currency and our total, our char and our floating point number. Let's also print another statement. Let's print something such as, I'm actually gonna add a new line character. You have bought our quantity variable. The format specifier for an integer is percent %d, followed by our item name. That's a string. We're going to display our quantity and our item, the name of our item. Then I'm gonna add a new line character. Okay, let's see what we got. I would like to buy a pizza. The price will be $12.99. I would like to buy five pizzas. It's for a party. You have bought five pizza. Then we have a space after, and then our total of $64.95. Our item name has a new line character within the input buffer. We need to get rid of that. So when we accept our user input for our string using fgets, Here's how we can remove that new line character. We'll take the name of our variable, our item, it's a string, add a set of straight brackets. We need to get the length of our item. We'll need the help of a header file. Include string.h. This header file contains functions related to strings. What is the length of our string of item? This function will return that value. str, len, meaning string length. What is the length of item? If it's pizza, well, pizza has five characters. Well, then if you include a new line character, it's six. Minus one to go to the end. We're going to set this last character equal to a null terminator character. And that should get rid of that new line character. Okay, what item would you like to buy? I would like to buy a pizza or pizzas. What is the price for each? $12.99. How many would you like? I would like eight pizzas. You have bought eight pizza or pizzas. The total is $103.92. And I'm just gonna make one change. I'm gonna add S to the end of my item when displaying it. I'll just add slash S. Just so grammatically it makes sense. I would like to buy a pizza. The price is $12.99. I would like 10 of them. You have bought 10 pizzas. The total is $129.90. You could even add the total is then our total too, if you would like. Pizza, $12.99, I want 10 pizzas. You have bought 10 pizzas. The total is $129.90. All right, everybody, so that is a shopping cart program that you can write for practice using the C programming language.